Have you ever looked at something so bright like the sun or a bright light? We usually cover our eyes or wear glasses to protect them. Four friends were walking one day at a mountain. Jesus had something special he wanted his friends to see. Let's name them one by one. Jesus, Peter, James, and John. Again, Jesus, Peter, James, and John. We will learn more about them in our Bible story today. Shall we pray? Dear Jesus, please open our hearts as we learn more about you and God's glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Jesus, together with his friends, Peter, James, and John, were walking on a high mountain. Mmm, the air smelled so fresh and cool, and the birds were singing. Jesus had something special he wanted his friends to see. No one else was there, but something wonderful happened. Jesus began to change. His face became so bright, as bright as the sun. Jesus' clothes began to glow. They became whiter and whiter like snow. Jesus was so bright that his friends could hardly look at him. Jesus was shining with God's glory. Glory means the beauty and greatness of God. Jesus is the Son of God even before he came to earth. He was in heaven with God the Father. Peter, James, and John were seeing what Jesus looked like when he was in heaven. Bright, shiny, and beautiful. Suddenly, there were two more people with Jesus. They came from heaven. Moses and Elijah have talked to Jesus, the Son of God. Then, a bright and shiny cloud covered them. And a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, whom I love. We can read this in Matthew 17, verse 5. That was the voice of God the Father. God told Jesus' friends to listen to what Jesus had said and obey it. Then, Jesus' friends, when they heard God's voice, became so afraid they fell to the ground and covered their faces. Jesus didn't want them to be afraid. He then put his hand gently on each of them and said, Get up! Do not be afraid. Peter, James, and John uncovered their faces and looked up. Now they only saw Jesus. Moses, Elijah, and the bright cloud are gone. Peter, James, and John are now sure that Jesus is the Son of God because they heard God's voice when he said, This is my Son, and saw it with their own eyes. Jesus was shining with God's glory. We too can be sure that Jesus is the Son of God. Someday, Jesus will come back shining in God's glory Everyone will see it. I know you listened well to our story today. Shall we answer some questions together? First question. Who went to the mountain with Jesus? Peter, James, and John. Very good. Peter, James, and John went with Jesus to the mountain. Second question. Who is God's son? Jesus! Yes, that's correct. Jesus is God's son. And for our last question, whose voice is did Jesus' friends heard? God's voice! Correct again. Jesus' friends heard God's voice. Very good, kids. The Holy Bible is God's word. Everything written here is true. Our scripture verse for today is found in Matthew 17, verse 5b. This is my son whom I love. This was the voice of God the Father when he told them about his son Jesus whom he loves. Now I will show you some pictures 
which will help us remember some of the words in our verse so that we can memorize it. The word son reminds us of the word son, who is Jesus, the son of God. And the picture heart reminds us of the word love. Let's read it again. This is my son who I love. Matthew 17 verse 5b. Good job kids! Now it's time for us to sing praises to our God. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. God created everything. All the things that we see show us the greatness of God. Let's sing our song today, Who is God? Who is God? God's Son, who showed God's glory in our story. Let's sing it again. Who is God? God is our Creator. He holds everyone and everything together. He is holy and does not change. Thank you kids for joining me in singing praises to our God. Bye!